Hey everyone, so back here again, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this time it's another Tim Johnson, it's his personal, um, 52100, 330 seconds inch bar stock, uh, Esgrine Gyoto, uh, I want to say it's, it should be 240 on the cutting edge, I believe. Uh, handle is uh, his homemade mic micarta. Excuse me, can't talk to that. Um, edge on the knife for this particular go around was Shapton One Two uh, Nubatama Six K Nanawa SS Ten um, K leather. So Tim asked me to push the edge a little bit, so I am. It is, like I said, S grind. So I don't know if you can actually see it here and try. Probably not, but so it's, yeah. It's, it goes, so basically it's so upside down, so it'd go, uh, you know, kind of like a razor, hollow grind almost, in a way, but not quite. But you get my idea. <clears throat> um, been using it for a while and like I say, it's, it is thin. I would say the, um, it pretty much holds its taper till, you know, right about the curve. Then it tapers off to wafer thin. Um, the handle, like I say, the handle is, you know, done to Tim Specs for himself. This is his knife. So if you want something very similar, you know, he can make you a, a lot of handles. He's done probably 10 for me, I don't even know. Um, so, without much further ado, we have a tomato, apple, potato, and a small onion. Sorry, haven't been to the store in a while, so, yeah. We are going to check the usual tomato sharpness test, stem to stern, how many times. Uh, same with the apple, but that's for, um, how well the edge is still there to go through the apple skin because it's usually pretty tough. Potato, check the non-stickage, and the onion because if not, I think people would be up be up in pitchforks if I didn't. So yeah, you can already see this thing's pretty sharp. Not much resistance. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so that's about, you know, when I'm doing something like this, I usually stop. So, second one's a little big, so I'm gonna pare them down a little bit. That's always fun. All right. So, go through tomato with very relative ease. Pushing off to the side for later tonight. So, yeah, it's very light. Like I said, I've used 52100 a couple of times. And quite honestly, I've never been impressed. But this was years ago, so take that as you would. You know, no offense to Smiths out there, but like I say, I just never... Of course, this was probably eight years ago, so, yeah. Having said that, apple, and we are not going to core it. So, not bad. Went through the seeds. Second half. see where it's like that there's that little hesitation for it goes through but still when you get you know, stuff like that I think you get the gist here for later and it's a relatively flat profile you know so and but again if you want you know one you, you can ask and make it however 
thick, thin belly you want. That's the good thing about it when you do a custom tater. Stickage, well, you know what I mean. So again, there you go. Potato works great. <sighs> Amazing. Sorry, small onion, but one must make do, right? And don't get me wrong, this thing is still laser sharp. I want to say he told me he took it to 62 on the hardness scale. Again, don't quote me on that, but I think. It is carbon, by the by, if you don't know 52100, so it's going to develop a patina unless you feel like polishing it every day. And if you do, more power to you. That works. And one more just for kicks. We'll do the same. Quick dice. Another awesome knife by Tim Johnson. Like I say he did the Sujihiki for me that I posted uh, about a month ago, I want to say, maybe. So, you know, if you're up for a custom and his prices are very, very reasonable, he's very, you know, he has great turnaround, you know, very easily to, easy to work with, has, you know, can get a hold of a bunch of different steels, magnet cut for the one. So, having said that, again, thank you, Tim, for letting me use this, and it will be on your way back to you here shortly. Uh, again, any questions, comments, guys, you know, ask away. Thank you.